Please be advised, this show contains strong language and references to human reproductive organs. It is suggested for mature listeners. Oh my god, I won! Oh, I can't believe it! It's real, people! The retirement lottery is real! Every week another winner, every week another victim of the feminist industrial complex. Do you really think Jerry has a winning ticket? I think you might be a little obsessed with Jerry. Well, he thinks this whole thing's a plot, I mean, the lottery. To rid the world of men, I know. It's ridiculous, right? Uh, Blade's got a man on the inside, dude. The Johnson loyalists are everywhere. It's legit. This is a real ticket, and I am a chosen one. Blade Johnson? God, you actually buy this shit? There is no way that ticket is real. In a world in which everyone agreed God was real and gracious and good, it was inconceivable to Elliot that a human person as wretched as Jerry fucking Dingle? Wait, the very definition of God's worthless creations? Would ever be a winner of the coveted global early retirement lottery. I think guys like him would be a thing of the past for Christ's sakes. He's 2054. This is America. We love the past. Especially as the weekly drawing, which whisked its lucky winners off to the retirement of their dreams, was the only thing Elliot looked forward to these days. Thank you, Lord, for another day to remind me what an awful and merciless God you really are. I hope the world blows up tomorrow. Unless I win the lottery. And now, let's play Lotto. May you retire early and happily, y'all. If Jerry Dingle did in fact hold a winning ticket, then maybe there was a way for Elliot to better his 10,833 and 9.8 billion odds of winning the coveted global early retirement lottery. Of course, that would mean he would have to... Steal it. Precisely. Goodbye, Blue Mondays. Coming soon to wherever you find your favorite podcast. Learn more at goodbyebluemondayspod.com.